I was, uh, you know, pleased with uh, the way we came out and started the game, and uh, <clears throat> it didn't, didn't obviously didn't feel like uh, we finished the half very well, and uh, thought we relaxed a bit against a gritty, you know, tough ball club in Southern Miss, and and uh, you know that's what happens. And then when we started to struggle offensively, miss some layups, miss some free throws, miss a bunch of free throws in the first half. I thought it affected our defense and rebounding even more. Uh, if I had to put my finger on one thing that really cost us the, the ball game was our inability to block out and get the critical rebound. But in the first half, that allowed them to really get started. I thought we were doing a great job of guarding them, making it hard for them to score through the first half of the first half. And then, you know, that went away as our offense struggled. And, uh, you know, as a ball club, we've got to learn uh, that that's when you've got to dig in, dig in even more because there's going to be times during the year, a lot of times during the year, where we miss a few layups and uh, miss some shots, and and uh, there seems to be a lid on the basket, which is what what happened there. And I, that's the first time you know all year this team's faced that kind of ad adversity. Of course, it's only the uh, second game, and we didn't react to it very well. Uh, I thought our rebounding woes continued in the second half. We made a run. Um, in fact, got the lead in the second half you know, at one point, and uh, we stopped rebounding. And then as we're making a run after being down, uh, critical rebounds at the very end uh, cost us. Uh, probably the second thing that cost us as much as anything is our you know, turnovers, and uh, again, at critical times. And those were two areas that we'd marked down to go against Southern Miss, and uh, those things uh, you know, let us down. Um, you know, it's a second game for a lot of the young guys, and, it, and it, I thought it showed. Uh, but that just means that Cleve and Brandon have got to do more. Uh, Brandon's got to take better care of the basketball. Cleve's got to rebound the ball. And, uh, you know, Cleve nicked up an ankle out there, and hopefully, you know, that won't be swollen too much tomorrow. And, and, and you know, he'll be you know, fine for Saturday. But, you know, we got to have him on the boards, even though he's at the three spot, uh, because in that zone or – and a man to man, he's on the weak side. He's got to got to go get it. And then Brandon's got to take better care of the ball. Yeah, I think Billy will shoot the ball better. It's pleased with his ball handling uh, tonight. He's coming around. Tommy had the you know nice opening game. Struggled a little bit tonight. And uh, you know along with the rest of our bigs, I don't think our bigs blocked out all night. We didn't uh, you know didn't really use our size advantage. And we've got to learn from this those things from here and, and and go from there. Those are things that we had on the board to really take advantage of. Uh, tonight, and we didn't do that. Uh, and Southern Miss is a good, good team. They won 27 games uh, last year, and uh, tonight they showed you why. They just, they're just gritty, and they just keep doing what they do. Um, yeah, I mean, sure, you, you have to do it, but that's, again, that's where Brandon and, and uh, Cleve got to do more. I mean, I think Brandon's got to take better care of the ball. I think he had a big turnover. He's trying to get the ball to Cleve uh, on a fast break, a long pass. Uh, you know, we, we kind of had a little bit of groove going against the zone by popping around and, and driving against it and, and, and getting to the free throw line, and that's that's what we needed to to do there. And uh, we got a little caught up in uh, – in the momentum of the game, and we've got to control it in the, those last six minutes of the game. You mentioned the young ones, and the young guys started from different lines. They only had the six, seven guys. And what was kind of the issue with them blocking up for the left? Why was that such a problem? Well, we, we started a big, strong lineup, and we were doing a good job with it for the first um, first 10 minutes, and again, I, I thought we got a little complacent and relaxed, and we uh, stopped um, really valuing the stops and the blockouts. Then the, um, the basket got tight on us, and then it, it got even worse, and it was just tough to get it back. And then we had to go small to kind of catch up, and um, we weren't rebounding with a small lineup uh, either. Um, but
but again, you got to give them credit. They stayed with it, and we did not stay with it. That's, that's what it comes down to. It's not a 10-minute game. It's not a 20-minute game. It's a 40-minute game against good teams. No, no, definitely trying to get a feel for it and, you know, who's going to step up and, and, and really play for us in that, you know, eight, uh, nine-man rotation. And, uh, you know, we had a tough time kind of, you know, finding that uh, tonight. I thought the second half when we went small, we had to go with Klee back at the four, which I don't like to do a lot. But that's, you know, clearly that lineup was one that was, uh, was doing some things for us except rebounding. And that's, you know, that was our problem last year is, when you're that small, you, know, you can't rebound it. Now we got to get you know Sandy going along with Tommy. Uh, that that's a lineup that we uh, in the preseason has rebounded for us well, and uh, you know they did not do that tonight. They, they, our bigs just didn't block out. They got uh, beat to the ball by quicker, more aggressive uh, guys, and uh, we've got to be more aggressive in there. Well, I hope a big one because we got a quick turnaround, uh, you know, coming f uh, Saturday. So, so I hope uh, I hope it was a, a good one, and hopefully, hopefully, it was a quick one. But you know, he's, he is a freshman. He, he he's a freshman uh, big that didn't play a lot last year because of the injury, and so we got to keep that in mind. But at the same time, we got to keep pushing him forward and um, really leaning on him and, and and have high expectations for him. <laughs> 